Hey guys, welcome to this video where we are going to go over an example for the multiple choice question. In the last last video, we went over some strategy and in this video, we are going to look at a specific example. So I have a passage on screen over here and I have the question. So maybe take some time to pause and go through the passage and see if you can solve this question yourself. So pause the video right now and give it your best shot. Okay, I hope you had a chance to do that. Um, so I'm going to just go about solving this question like I would do in the actual exam. So let's imagine that the time starts now. So I'll first go through the question. Why was the fall in crime rate particularly surprising? So I know that they're talking about a fall in, in crime rate and particularly surprising. So I should be paying attention to that when I'm reading through the passage. I'll quickly scrim through the option. Clinton, six years, fewer people expressing in crime. Happen in all criminal categories and number of years. Okay, so I, I just quickly skim through the, the answers and now I'm going to read the passage. Other criminologists, political scientists, and similarly learned forecasters laid out the same horrible future as did President Clinton. We, we know we've got about six years to turn this juvenile crime thing around, Clinton said, or our country is going to be living with chaos. And my successors will not be giving speeches about the wonderful opportunities of the global economy. They'll be trying to keep body and soul together for people on the streets of these cities. The smart money was plainly on the criminals. And then instead of going up and up, up and up and up, crime began to fall and fall and fall some more. The crime drop was startling in several respects. It was ubiquitous with every category of crime falling in every part of the country. It was persistent with incremental decreases year after year. And it was entirely unanticipated, especially by the very experts who had been predicting the opposite. So I went through the passage. I got a good understanding of what it was. Um, I was listening very, I was reading it very intently with focus. And I know that it's a passage about crime rate, Clinton talking about crime rates, and then it was falling. So with that in mind, I'm going to look at the question and answer again. Why was the crime rate surprising. Um, it had been predicted at the same at the time by President Clinton. So now I'm going to now work on eliminating incorrect responses. So we can see that President Clinton had said that the crime rates are going to be rising. So he said that my successors will not be giving speeches about opportunities of global economy. They'll be trying to keep body and soul together for people on the streets of these cities. Uh, so he was predicting that there's going to be chaos on the streets and the crime rates would rise, not fall. So this why this is the incorrect option because it is fall. Um, it happened after six years of steeply rising rates of crime. Hmm. So we can see that six years is given over here uh, and here it says we got about six years to turn the juvenile crime rates around but they have not mentioned that it happened after six years of rising crime so it has not been specifically mentioned that after six years of rising crime then the crime rates fell so this could be true but it's not true based on the information given in this passage we cannot come up with a logical inference uh, again, keep it. See, they've purposely given like six years here and six years here to kind of trick us, but this is where we need to like pay more attention. So this is not false, but it's not true as well. So therefore, this is not the correct option. It took place despite fewer people expressing an interest in crime and justice policies. Now, even here, this I don't see this point being mentioned anywhere in the uh, passage. Nowhere have they talked about people expressing an interest in crime or about justice policies. So therefore this, it may be true, but it's not entirely, it's, it's, it's not explicitly mentioned in the passage and nor can we come up with a suitable inference that this is true. Option D is it happened in all criminal categories and continued for a number of years. So this is true because you can see that um, where they have said particularly surprising. So the crime drop was startling. So if you, this is where your vocabulary comes into picture. So surprising and startling are kind of synonyms. Startling 
startle means being surprised as well. So if you did not pick that, you might have a diff tough time finding the correct answer. So the crime drop was startling in several respects, and then it goes on to dis describe what these things were. Uh, it happened in all criminal categories, so you can see that over here as well. It was ubiquitous. U ubiquitous means happening everywhere uh, with every category of ca crime falling. So it's fairly straightforward from this that every category of crime fell. So that was one aspect of why it was startling or surprising. And the second one is it continued for a number of years. And here that we can see by this side, it was persistent with incremental decreases year after year. I mean, the decreases means it went down year after year. Um, so, that's, so that's basically why we can come to a conclusion that D is the correct answer. Answer. So that's that's basically how I would go about solving a multiple choice question. I quickly went through the passage, kind of look uh, question and look for what the question is asking. I skimmed through the question, the options really quickly. I went back to the passage and my focus was entirely on reading the passage. I'm not looking at the question at this time. I really want to understand what it is saying. And then I go about eliminating the correct options. Now, eliminating the correct, the incorrect options is not something that you specifically need to do. So for example, if I knew that this is the correct answer, I would directly just look at this option and just fact check it, see, okay, is this right? Did it happen in all categories? Yes, it did. Was it continuing for a number of years? Yes, it was. And then I can simply select that option and move on to the next question. But if you're having a tough time kind of narrowing down on one particular option, then you go on eliminate the other options. Uh, because if you work on eliminating every single option, it's, some, it's a process that could take time. So maybe as you re after you read the passage, try to find out one or two questions that you think are correct and then work with that. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.